It has come to my attention that most people are dabbing incorrectly. You give them all the knowledge, all the tools, and they just don't do it right. Even people that have been dabbing for many years. I'm not sure of the exact number, but I know for a fact that most people have a Chaz banger. Most people's bangers are not clear quartz like when they bought it. It's some white foggy version or just like a super charred black version of, of the original nail that they bought. If your banger is super chest, what are you doing? So this is partly due to dabbing isn't easy, right? Dabbing isn't as easy as smoking. You ever smoked a pipe? You ever smoked a bong? Not very hard. You light it, it's gone. The only hard part, and I've learned this from a lot of people from smoking out of a bong, is cleaning it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just made a video about cleaning. And a lot of people are like, yeah, bro, I clean mine every four or five weeks. What? Bro, what? What? Anyway, this isn't about that. Dabbing isn't easy. I relate it to being somewhat of an art or something that you develop skills in over time. You don't approach a dab the same on every rig. You're going to hit it a little bit differently if you're using a quartz banger or a titanium nail or using a nectar collector or something like that. Even e-rigs have a slightly different approach and not every rig hits the same. And I think I learned years ago that I didn't understand what was happening when I was dabbing, and I, that's why I was dabbing wrong. Years ago, I used to treat dabbing like smoking. The harder I pull, the more I get, right? Treating like a bong hit causes you to use higher temperatures. You get more satisfaction from that one big pull and release, and you're not really vaping it like you should be at a nice low temperature. Your average dab takes about a minute of pulling. Think about pulling on a piece for a minute. Bong hits like 10, 15 seconds. Some are shorter, some are longer. You got a big old bong, it might take a little bit longer to milk up the chamber depending on how you're hitting it. But a nail vaporizes the concentrate depending on the temperature you set it. You set it too high, it's gonna vaporize really quick, it's gonna burn off all your terpenes and you're not gonna get the most out of your dab. You do it at a proper temperature and it's going to take about 45 seconds to a minute to vaporize the majority of your wax. You always want a little bit left over. If every time you dab there's no residue left over, you might be doing it a little too hot or you might just be nailing it and you have the cleanest concentrate on the planet. But I've even seen people like six star hash. Sometimes you just get a little residue left on the nail, no matter how clean you think it is. Well, years ago when I first got into dabbing, I think my first nail was a domeless titanium nail and then I got a quartz banger. I remember I had some friends come over for like the weekend when I lived in Colorado. Bought a brand new shiny quartz banger and like less than two days it was solid white. It went from just being super clear to being solid white and that's because back in the day I cleaned it how everybody cleaned it. Oh yeah bro you need to clean your nails? Go ahead and torch it off bro just bust out the to hey, here's my here's my cleaner right here. Guys this is not a cleaning device. Your torch is not a cleaning device and too many people think that oh I just torch it off bro. Just burn it off. It'll be nice and clean. You're not burning anything off. You're burning it on. You are burning it onto your nail. If your nail is cloudy white or even charred black, that's because you burned all the leftover residue onto your nail instead of removing it with a Q-tip like you should have. There's even people out here using their torch to clean their glass. Like, oh yeah, bro, you want to get the reclaim out? Just torch the edge a little bit. It'll melt it all and you drip it out. Do you know that repeatedly torching your glass is going to weaken it and just cause it to break at some point? I, how do I know? I've done it. I used to literally clean all of my pieces. Reclaim will build up in the stem here. You just melt it a little bit with a torch. You're like, oh, it dumps out so easy. Meanwhile, you're just weakening and weakening your glass every time you do it. The glass expands and then contracts and then it forms little micro cracks in it. Your quartz is fine to be torched over and over and over again and won't really see as much damage if you're doing it properly. But your glass is going to break really quickly by doing it like that. You're just going to make all your pieces weaker by torching them. So my first quartz banger got chazzed really quick. And I don't think I learned how to dab until a few nails later. You do it wrong so many times, you try to improve. I think my dabbing ability really started picking up when I was using a honey straw or a nectar collector. You guys have seen dab straws probably. It's just a nice straw you heat up. I don't know if I have a glass one, but basically uh, you torch the tip. This is an electronic one where the tip heats up, but you torch the tip and you pull it through. The major difference with the straws is what taught me how to dab. Most people, I still see this when they use a straw, they think that they're using a straw. They think that they're sucking liquid through the straw. Your average person hitting a honey straw will melt the wax with the tip of the straw and then just suck up reclaim into the device where it's not hot anymore. To use a straw properly, you got to inhale so slowly. That's the dabbing way. 
low and slow. You don't want to pull too hard, especially with a straw because you just you melt it and you suck it up. But you literally, with the tip of this, want to watch the vapor create and only pull hard enough to inhale the vapor. That's what dabbing is. It is controlling the rate at which you inhale the vapor that is produced. And most people just pull too hard, right? Nobody's pulling too soft on their dab. You pull too soft, you're just going to see vapor rising up from where your nail is. But almost nobody does that. Almost everybody pulls too hard. But after using a honey straw for years, I just understood more and more what's happening. And honey straws are harder to use, right? The tip on most of them just cools off so quickly. And it doesn't have a flat surface for your concentrate to rest on. When you put a dab in a banger, it just sits in the dish for, you know, however long until you wipe it out. Usually takes about a minute or so on the surface for it to vaporize fully. So when you use a straw or something with a short tip, it's not really sitting on the surface. It doesn't have a flat surface, a flat heated surface to just rest on. So you kind of have to do honey straw dabs. A lot of them come in a little bit hotter if you want like a nice big hit. But for the most part, these are for just tiny little sips of a hit essentially. And I say sip, but literally don't drink it. Don't drink your wax. Do not drink it. If you're slurping it up, you're doing it wrong. You're sucking too hard. And bro, I showed in another video about how people suck too hard on their Puffco. Somebody had the whole inside of their puff coat coated with wax because they're just sucking the soul out of that thing. You should be pulling on all of your dabs as lightly as you can with still getting vapor. If vapor is coming out of where your nail is or where you put the wax, you're not pulling hard enough. You want to basically pull just hard enough to breathe in the vapor and keep a steady stream of that. Pulling too hard just means you're getting more air in your pull, more air in your lungs instead of vapor. You're not creating more vapor by pulling harder. You're just pulling in more air. I feel like I just went on a rant. Hopefully I got my point across. But major takeaways, this isn't a cleaning device and you want to pull on your dabs as slowly as you can. And if you want to learn how to dab properly the right way, the literal best way that you can, check out my video on cold starts. This is probably one of my best videos because it really teaches people and helps them understand how to dab. Have a lit day, my dudes.